everyone, my name is Gabby and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different from what I normally do on my channel. So I already posted my Owl Crate unboxing for this month, if you want to go and check it out it will be linked down below. But today I have another unboxing that I'm going to be bringing you, this time from Wick and Fable. So this is a bookish candle company that has their own subscription service. I have gotten a few items from Wick and Fable from past Owl Crate boxes and so I followed them on their social media. And I noticed that they had a subscription service and they announced their January theme and immediately my reaction was gimme 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 because their January theme, if you cannot tell by the gorgeous box that we have here, is inspired by the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare which is hands down my favorite YA series of all time. If you've been on my channel for five seconds you would know this. I'm basically a mini Emma books. So let's be real here. There really are not a lot of book subscription services that I feel like include Shadowhunter related items or items inspired by the Shadow Winter Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, whether it be the Mortal Instruments series, the Infernal Devices, or the Dark Artifices. There really just isn't a lot of boxes out there that include Shadow Winter related content, but the fandom is so big, especially now that you have the adaptation that I don't want to talk about, but it's still there, and all the people who've read the books and are fans of Cassie's writing. The fandom in itself is incredibly big, and so naturally you feel like it would be a fandom that would have a lot of draw in book boxes, but I've subscribed to Owlcrate and they've never really included Shadow Winter related items, so I've been looking for a book box that would satisfy my need for Shadow Hunter goodies. Wiccan Fable has done that for me with this Shadow Hunter themed January box. I'm so, so excited to dive in and see all of the goodies that are inside. And if you want to find out more about Wiccan Fable, I will leave all of their information down below. That includes all their various social media, their website, because you should go and check them out. They're a wonderful, wonderful company. And I haven't even gotten into this box yet, and I'm already amazed just because the packaging is gorgeous. Look at this. You have the gorgeous logo here, and then the box, which has all of these runes etched into it. It's so stunning, and I'm obsessed with it. I just, I can't. Even looking at it immediately, I was just sold and so impressed, and I haven't even opened the box yet. I know that I'm for sure going to be keeping this box with me and past Owl Crate boxes. Normally, I keep them for about a month or two, and then I recycle them because they start to take up space in my room, but this is really nice and condensed, and the printing on it is absolutely gorgeous, so I'm definitely going to want to keep this box and all the goodies inside of course. I'm incredibly excited to dive into those, but first there was an item that was on top of the box that was wrapped, and I love the wrapping on this. It's very glittery and sparkly, and it kind of gives me Magnus Bane vibes, which I love Magnus. He's one of my favorite characters in the series. I naturally identify with Magnus and all of his glitter and pop and circumstance, so I'm digging the wrapping on this. Plus, it makes it feel like Christmas, and who doesn't love Christmas, especially when you're in January and you're just feeling very slumpy with the start of the new year because you don't have that motivation anymore of like, it's a new year, I'm gonna kick ass because it's getting towards the end of the month and you're kind of just like, well, a month has gone by and like, things have happened and you know, you kind of just don't feel it. But getting the wrapping paper, it just kind of brings back that holiday spirit that you may have lost throughout January. So I love it and it just adds a nice little flair. So I'm really excited to open this for all of you to start off the unboxing. I've been rambling for a long period of time. I don't know why though, because I want to see all the goodies inside. Let's start. Oh my god! Oh guys, I can't! The first item in this box and I'm already just like speechless. So there is a notebook that is a Wiccan Fable exclusive and the quote on the notebook is like my favorite quote from Cassie's books and it says one must always be careful of books and what is inside them for words have the power to change us and there's the rune here and like runes in the corners and there's a beautiful blue color and I just I love the design of this and it has my favorite quote from the Infernal Devices. I absolutely love this notebook. I'm so excited to get to use this and fill this with a whole bunch of really beautiful words. Look at this design. Isn't it stunning with the runes and the color and the blue and like the pink and the green? It all just complements each other so nicely. And then you have the back 
and it's so pretty. I'm just, I'm obsessed. So I opened the box and like everything spilled out of it because it was wrapped in like one bag of package. But the first thing that I have here that I like to show all of you is the spoiler card. And this is clearly designed after the television show. Regardless of the fact that this is inspired by the Shadow Wonders television show, the art on this is gorgeous. And I like want to hang this up or put it on my Shadow Wonders shelf so I can adore it forever because I am just amazed. It is gorgeous. So upon a further examination of the spoiler card, it looks like this gorgeous notebook was designed by Stella's Bookish Art and I know that they've been recently been doing some stuff for Owl Crate so it's really exciting to get more items from them because I absolutely love this company and all the gorgeous stuff they've done for Owl Crate so of course I'm incredibly excited to have an item by them that's inspired by one of my favorite series of all time. So we're going to start by going through some of the candles in this box because obviously Wiccan Fable is a bookish candle company and so the first one that we have here is called Shadow Hunters and is black leather and verbenia scented and the label on this looks like it's from a city of ashes and there's a quote that says heroes aren't always the ones who win and apparently this is a soy and vegan candle which is cool I like that. Ooh, this just smells very nice and clean and I like it because it kind of reminds me of like Shadow Hunter gear and obviously like that's what they're going for with like the black leather scent. Oh, but I just love this a lot because I like the fruity candles, but I also like having a balance of clean candles. So just depending on what my mood is and what it is that I'm feeling, I can have options. So I'm glad that I have this because it's nice to have some cleaner scents, which is sort of what I'm getting from the candle. Of course, we should take a moment to focus on the beautiful aesthetic of this candle. I love these labels. They're so pretty and it just makes displaying them so much more fun. So if you have a candle inspired for Shadow Hunters, you naturally have to have one inspired for for Downworlders. So the scent of this is red wine and apple wood and the label on here has werewolves on it and the quote says it turns out you never really knew the world around you at all. Ooh, that smells really interesting. The mix of the red wine and the apple is really catching. I wasn't expecting it to smell like that, but that smells really damn good. Oh my god, it feels like walking into like a Yankee candle for some reason. And obviously like it's a candle, but like I feel like Yankee candle, even though there's like 9 million different scents going on in there, it has a very distinct scent and it smells like this. I love this. I think that this is really, really, really good scent. I feel like this unboxing right now has kind of become very horrible very quickly because I'm just too busy freaking out about all the Shadow Winter goodies that are surrounding me. I can't handle it all. It's too much and it's all so pretty. Here's the gorgeous label for all of you to take in and you can see like the little werewolf that's here on the edge. I love this. I love how like there's the dark sticker here and it kind of complements the white of the candle. Oh my god, guys, this box is just so visually stunning. I'm obsessed! So naturally, if you're going to have candles inspired by the Mortal Instruments series, you want to pick items that are inspired by the Shadow Hunter race. And so the first candle that we have here that sort of correlates into that theme is the New York Institute, which is dark chocolate and New York coffee scented. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. And it has this really pretty purple color to it that for some reason reminds me of Magnus. I'm living for this one right now. Oh, yep, this is by far my favorite. Oh guys, you know I love dark chocolate. It's my favorite of all the chocolates. The combination of dark chocolate and coffee just sells me. I'm sold. I'm here for this. This is probably my favorite one out of the three so far. I am loving this. Look at the gorgeous purple and the label. It's so pretty. So that was a very brief glimpse that you got of the candle because I didn't read the quote to you that's on the sticker. It says, I thought it was a church because that's not confusing. Ah, oh, that's cute. I love this. This is by far my favorite so far out of all of them because it's purple and has the pretty like dark bluish color with the label. I'm obsessed guys. I, I can't do this. I, I don't know why I do unboxings because honestly they're terrible because I'm just a frantic mess because there's so many items and goodies that are staring at me and I have to be able to describe them to all of you and I like, I can't do it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, this one I think looks the most aesthetically pleasing out of all of them so far. And it is a parabatai. And the quote on the label says, wherever we are, we are as one. And you have a little rune here and like some flames. 
and this is stunning. So the scent is bergamot, jasmine, and smoky warm spices. Ooh, is this supposed to be a combination of like Jace and Alec, like what they would smell like? Oh my god, guys, these candles smell so good. I wish that I could travel scent through this video so that you could smell all of these candles because each and every single one is getting better and better. Oh, damn, guys. It just, it smells so good. I don't even know how to describe it to you other than just, like, it smells very fragrant and wonderful. And this has more of, like, a clean scent to it than the New York Institute, which is more of, like, a chocolatey, and so I sort of associate with that more of, like, a fruity and fragrant scent. Whereas this is a little bit cleaner, but it still is fragrant, so it's, like, a little bit in between the two. I don't know how to describe this because you guys can't smell it, and I don't know how to describe what I'm smelling other than that it's wonderful. Look at it. Look at that label. Isn't it gorgeous? Like, look at the flames and how it contrasts with the gray of the candle. Aren't you just amazed? I'm so shook, guys. I can't. I physically can't with this right now. It's so beautiful. And now we have our last candle, which is, of course, inspired by the title name for the series, which is the Mortal Instruments. The scent is Soft Breezes, Green Amber, and Musk. And the label says Mortal Cup, Mortal Sword, Mortal Mirror. So those are the three Mortal Instruments. And then you have, I believe, the the mortal sword on this label and then there's like some wispy sort of things that are going on here oh this one definitely has like the clean vibe to it that sort of smells like laundry and like is much more pleasant and I sort of think of like a beach and like waves and like air like I don't know why when I think of like clean scents I think of like beachy scents or like laundry this is so hard to describe but definitely it's very clean which is why I like the soft breezes scent that's where I'm getting the beach thing from I don't know guys I'm tired I'm doing this at like nine o'clock at night so this is kind of a horrible video and I'm also really tired um it's fine though because I have mortal instruments candles and mortal instruments goodies all over the place I am in paradise Look at the label. Isn't it pretty? I love the wispiness that's going on here with the bluish color. And then you have the white or gray-ish color of the candle. It's just so pretty. I, I can with Wick and Fable. They have impressed me so much with their packaging and presentation. So then before we get into some of the other fandom goodies, there's one last thing in here that Wiccan Fable has included, which is Mortal Tea. And the ingredients for this loose leaf tea are apple, rose hips, hibiscus, elderberries, ginger, pomegranate, pear, lime juice, and sea salt. So this sounds very fruity and interesting, but I feel like I would like this because I'm very particular with my tea. Usually I just do mint tea because I don't like it to be too fruity because then I feel like it becomes a little bit of excessive. And looking at all of the flavors in here, I really like pomegranate and apple. This just seems like it would be a very good fit for me. I literally just took the plastic label off and I can already smell this tea. It is so fragrant. Ooh, yeah, I'm definitely getting like a berry scent to this. Oh my god. Oh, I am brewing myself a cup of this in the morning. I am so excited to try this. It looks so damn good. Oh, and I love the packaging on this because it matches the box. Look at this. Oh. You have the pretty runes on here and the Wiccan Fable logo. There's the ingredients here and more runes. It's just so stunning. I can't, I can't, I can't. So the next item in this box I'm incredibly excited about. I'm just, I'm a little bit shook over. And it is a magnetic bookmark by a Burley Paper Company that is Isabel Lightwood. <gasps> Guys, you don't know how much I love these bookmarks. Not because I use them, but because I just think that they're adorable to put on shelves and I have one that's inspired by Isabel from the Wordle Instruments. Oh my god, I can't, I can't, I can't. Like I wanted one of these bookmarks, but then one of the reasons why I never got one is because I wanted ones that were from characters that I really, really liked and there really wasn't any out there that interests me and now I have one of Isabel Lightwood. Guys, I'm, I'm so taken aback. Honestly, this sounds ridiculous, but like all these little goodies and things just make me so happy seeing a fandom that I love so much being represented in so many beautiful ways. I'm just, oh my god, I love this. 
Look at Isabel, she looks like a little chibi and she has the angelic rune on her chest and her hair and the boots and the entire getup just seems so badass and Shadow Hunter-esque. I love it, I can't, I'm obsessed, it's so adorable. Next two items in here are buttons that are designed by Stella's Bookish Art who also designed the notebooks that was included in this box. And one says, as long as there is love and memory, there is no true loss. And the other says, we live and breathe words. Both of these are absolutely gorgeous, and you guys know that I have my button obsession, and I love to add all my buttons to my bookish tote bag. So these are going to be going on there ASAP. I love them so much. The design is so pretty, and I love font. I particularly like the one that says, we live and breathe words, because I just relate to that on a personal level, and I love like the pages that are on the background of the button. It just feels very much my aesthetic, so I'm excited to get to use these. So the spoiler card does not mention where this came from, but it is a Shadow Hunter necklace that has a rune on it and angel wings, and there's like a little diamond inside of the rune. I have wanted Shadow Hunter related jewelry for the longest time, and I am so, so excited to have this. I was hoping that they were gonna include Tessa's Clockwork Angel, but like, this is just as good. I'm putting this on now, and I'm never taking it off, and I'm wearing it to school every single day. This is becoming my new favorite piece of jewelry. You're gonna see me wearing this in all my videos from now on. I love it. I'm obsessed. I can't even with this box. I am so sold on it. Oh my god. Look at how pretty it is, guys. I love the diamond in here and the wings and like the contrast of the silver and the black. It's so pretty and it's the perfect length. I am obsessed. I love this so much. I'm going to be wearing it every single day. You can see I have it on right now and I am loving this. I can't get over how much of a frantic mess this unboxing is, but I'm really overwhelmed. There's so many really great goodies in this box and it's a lot to take in, especially when I'm doing this unboxing late at night because normally I film my videos when I'm coherent and right now that's not really happening. It's been a long day. Now we're going to talk a little bit about some bookish art. So we have this art print that has two different designs on it. The typography is designed by a Theraheart. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's A-E-T-H-E R-A-H-A-R-T. So that's that. And then the Magnuson Alec print is designed by Mitsuki Shu. I'm also probably not pronouncing that correctly, but either way, both of the designers have created a beautiful art that is going on my mortal instrument shelf. And then the spoiler card that I've showed you that you've probably seen in lots of the shots because I've been holding it up and looking at all of the goodies and trying to describe them to you as best as I possibly can. This spoiler card is designed by Nocturnal Fay Art and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the cartoony vibe of it. It's really cute. I'm so excited to get to put these on my shelf. So the side with the typography says, because you live, my world has twice as many stars. And this is a quote between Clary and Jace. And I love it a lot. And I love the galaxy pattern and background that's going on here. And the font and like the way that it's all placed together in this nice oval shape. It's just, it's very pretty. And it's sort of matches the aesthetic of my room and I know that my camera went out of focus while I was saying that but it's in focus now so here's this side and then on the other side we have Magnus and Alec and this is my favorite ship of all time and I love it and I know that Wiccan Fable knows how much everyone loves Malik so this was of course an item that they needed to include and the design is stunning and adorable and I love it and I'm obsessed. So that about it concludes the mess that was my Wiccan Fable January unboxing. Wow! So that was a lot of items to take in. I have five new phenomenal Shadow Hunter related candles. I have some Shadow Hunter tea pins art prints, notebooks, jewelry, like I'm set to go in the shadow world in terms of goodies. I have this beautiful box that has the runes on it that I can put like other shadow winter goodies that I get throughout the years. I'm just, I'm sold. I'm so happy right now. I am on cloud nine. Thank you so much Wigan Fable for this beautiful January box. I had a phenomenal time opening it and showing you all of the goodies inside. This probably wasn't the greatest unboxing you will ever see. A lot of my unboxings are horrible 
and I always edit them and cringe just because I really have no idea what I'm doing and I'm just like looking at everything and getting so excited over how many new goodies that I have that I can't coherently describe to you how much I love the items inside the box and like be able to describe to you what it is that I'm seeing and what it is that the candles smell like and I'm just I'm not good at this but I still love doing it nonetheless because it's always fun to get to open a little present and get to show you all the goodies inside that I'm getting because it's like Christmas and who doesn't love Christmas especially when it happens all year round so that's about it for this video if you liked this video and you want to give it a thumbs up go and do that you can also subscribe to me by clicking down there and all of my social media links are in the description if you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter it is at Gabby YA books with one Y so that is G-A-B-B-Y-A-B-O-O-K-S and then if you want to check me out on teen reads and see monthly book reviews that I do and answer monthly bookish questions, I have the link down below to that as well. I have my Goodreads link down below. I have my email for inquiries if you want to possibly collaborate together as a fellow creator or maybe you're an author and you want to send me a book of yours to review. My email is down there if you want to check that out. And of course, all of Wiccan Fables information is down below if you want to check them out as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a phenomenal day, a phenomenal night. I will see you all next time with another video. I apologize for this being a mess. It's late at night, but I hope you guys had as much fun watching this as I had unboxing Wiccan Fable. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye! Broadway here I